This is lesson five in the Psychology of Relationships course. In this lesson, you will learn about social exchange theory. This theory views relationships like a business. Social exchange theory says we want to maximize the rewards and minimize the costs in a relationship. Rewards might include companionship, sex, and being cared for. Costs might include financial investments, effort, and time. We compare our current relationship against previous ones, and this leads to a comparison level, CL. If our current relationship is viewed as better than our CL, then we will want to continue the relationship. We also have a comparison level for alternatives, which involves comparing our current partner with alternative relationships, or possibly having no relationship. If we view the relationship as unprofitable, we may end the relationship. Before finishing a relationship, we weigh up the possible rewards we might gain from having an alternative relationship versus the costs of ending the current relationship. So what evidence is there for social exchange theory? Kurdek and Schmidt looked at 186 heterosexual and same-sex couples and found that people were more satisfied with their relationship if they felt they were benefiting from the relationship and if the alternatives were less attractive. This study supports social exchange theory. Is there any contradictory evidence? Hatfield found that the happiest newlyweds were those who felt that the marriage was equal for both partners in terms of costs and benefits. This study contradicts social exchange theory as it shows that people do not necessarily want to maximize their rewards and instead feel happier if things are equal. Social exchange theory assumes that people are inherently selfish in relationships by trying to maximize their rewards while minimizing the costs. Are people really that selfish? Some people may be more concerned with having an equal relationship rather than wanting to maximize their rewards. Furthermore, certain people may believe it is more important to give than receive in a relationship, and so they may be happy with one where they receive fewer rewards. Now that you've learned about social exchange theory, you can go on to the next lesson where you will learn about equity theory.